Ladies and gentlemen, I want to start off by saying congratulations to Real Madrid winning their 15th Champions League in a, in their club's history. Crazy. Modric, Cruz, and these guys all, uh, Modric, Cruz, Cabajal, and Nacho have six. And these guys are about to get Mbappe. They have a future Ballon d'Or winner in, amongst their ranks with Vinny Jr. potentially as the favorite to go on to win the Ballon d'Or. Let's talk about this, guys. But before we begin, I just need to apologize. Actually, I need to just say, you know what? I made a big mistake doing this video earlier in the year, and I'm gonna play it for you guys. You think that it, you think that you guys have a better starting eleven than Madrid? Yes. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Yo, I don't get why he's laughing that hard. Like it's not ridiculous. I'm laughing at Arsenal. You think that you have a better starting eleven than Madrid? Honestly, it's light years light years the difference in club in just the amount of winners that they have in their team football legends mr champions league and tony cruz i think he has seven champions leagues he was right i was wrong and i don't know why i even made this comparison in the first place but it just looks silly looking obviously i wouldn't be able to predict that they were going to go on to win the champions league but god damn do stack comparison. I would love to. How many Champions Leagues does Real I always thought this was a silly stack comparison talking about how many Champions Leagues they have as a club when we're talking about individual teams, but this is what really got me triggered in this video originally. Madrid have. Let's do a stat prediction. Let's do a, a stat comparison. How many Champions League does Real Madrid have? 14. How many Champions Leagues does Arsenal have? It's not looking good, bud. And his argument is so weak. Are, why are we counting Champions Leagues? Let's actually go through a combined 11. Courtois is injured, so I'm going to go David Rea. They don't Courtois was amazing today. He they don't have a left back of quality, so I'm going to go Zinchenko. Center back pairing, I'm going to go Gary. Zinchenko wants, uh, who he wants, Zinchenko sold. So I shouldn't have never put him in there anyways. Gabriel and Saliba. What was I thinking? Putting Gabriel and Saliba when Rudiger has literally been one of the best center backs in the world this season. I don't think any of their center backs are better than ours. It's a toss up between Cavajal and Ben White, but I'll... I'm not going to judge Cavajal solely on his goal scoring, but today he stepped up big time for Real Madrid, and you got to give him credit there. I'd rather have Ben White. The midfield, Declan Rice is a defensive midfielder, no debate. What am I, what am I talking about? Jude Bellingham is also in, no debate. And... Yeah, Jude Bellingham's in. And it comes down to Modric or Martin Odegaard. And I pick... I didn't even mention Cruz. <laughs> well, I sometimes, like, God, what are you doing? What are you doing, bro? I'm talking to myself here. Crazy. Martin Odegaard. I think Vinicius has been poor this season, so I'm going to... I didn't even put Vinicius in the team. Because he was injured. Oh, my God. Well, I, I deserve the criticism. I deserve the criticism. I look silly. It is what it is. Um, should have never made that combined 11 in the first place. But you live, you learn. As for Real Madrid, these guys go on to win their 15th Champions League. And immediately after winning their 15th, you got Florentino Perez coming out talking about, oh, we need to go win our 16th. Can you not rest? Can you not give it a second? You just won. And you're already talking about 16th UCL. Oh, my goodness. These guys are this guy is not normal. Not normal. Already talking about six, uh, a 16th Champions League. You just won. These guys. And they're also, they're talking about Mbappe. They're already talking about Mbappe. They're already talking about going on and, and raising their levels next year. This is crazy. Unbelievable, in my opinion. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. This, uh, what these guys are capable of, what these guys have been able to do. Since 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 the beginning of last decade, I've seen Real Madrid more win more Champions Leagues than most clubs in football history. That is that is crazy in itself. And just to talk about the game quickly for a second, I thought Dortmund was in the game for majority of the game. Dortmund really did a decent job. They were in the game. They tried. They, they genuinely were. They could have had so many opportunities to score. I, I don't know exactly what the XG was in this game, but it might have been pretty high for uh, for Dorman as I felt like they had numerous opportunities where they could have capitalized. Adeyemi, when he went around the keeper, 
but of course he just went too far wide couldn't end up couldn't end up uh, getting a shot back on goal so that that was a mistake from him there but overall i thought you know what it was it was a good game it was very it was very close but the moment real madrid scored it, it seemed like it was over the momentum shifted and dortmund just went into their shell i think the substitutions made by uh made, uh, made were, were criminal adeyemi was literally one of Dortmund's best players. And when he came off in the 72nd minute, it gave all the momentum to Real Madrid, took away that level of pace. And Mark, uh, and Cruz should have came on, but he shouldn't have came on for Adeyemi. I think Adeyemi was was one of their better players. And you should have maybe took off Julian Brandt for, for Cruz instead. That would have made more sense in my opinion. But hey, Jude Bellingham comes up with an assist. Vinicius Jr. comes up with the winner. Cruz in his final game comes up with a cross from the uh, from the set piece for Cavaja, another guy who has six goals, six Champions Leagues. Uh, Thibaut Courtois makes uh, three saves, massive saves to win uh, to help to help them win the game. You got Modric coming out in the 85th minute. Imagine that former Ballon d'Or winner coming on in the 85th minute to help you seal another Champions League. It's just unbelievable. You got you got so many. You can't name a player at Real Madrid who who doesn't win a Champions League in this past ten years. Like, I just I don't think there's anyone who Real Madrid have signed in the last uh, in the last couple of decades that has not been part of one of these Champions League winning teams. They always win. They're inevitable. They are the unstoppable force. We talk about Man City, what they're doing in the league, what these guys are doing in the Champions League. They're cakewalking it unbelievable how this is just year in year out year in year out and and their road to the their road to the final if i show you guys their road to the final they had the toughest they had they had one of the tougher roads to the final they played just look at this let me show you this before we go just let me show you this they played uh they played leipzig 2-1 close leipzig couldn't knock them out there they played Man City in penalties, 4-4. Close. They they only just beat uh, Bayern Munich 3-1 at the end. But then in the final, the easiest game of them all. And Real Madrid are once against champions. <sighs> crazy, 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 crazy. And this man right here. This man. Football legend. He, he is. He's an absolute legend. Seven Champions League. Mr. Champions League right there. Mr. Champions League. And then can we talk about Vinny Jr.? Vinny Jr. is going to win the Ballon d'Or. We all know it. We all know it. Vinicius Jr. is going to win the Ballon d'Or. The only way he doesn't win the Ballon d'Or is if Germany or England win the Euros and, and he doesn't win the Copa America. That's the only way I could potentially see him. At this moment in time, he's the favorite to win the Ballon d'Or. Let me know who you think is going to win the Ballon d'Or. Once again, I apologize to Real Madrid fans for my Sydney combined 11. And congratulations to uh, Real Madrid fans, of course, for their Champions League win. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, I need to stop. <laughs> with the silly combined 11s. But for now, I bid you guys adieu. Peace.